Well, here on the local vibe today is Wellness Wednesday. This is our segment where we learn a quick recipe that not only tastes good, but it's also good for you. Here to show us that recipe live is Alice Smith, a registered dietitian and owner of Alice Approved. Great to see you, Alice. Good morning. Great to be here. Good morning. So tell us first what inspired this week's recipe. What is it? Yes, for sure. So this is an apple pear crisp. So a crisp is much lighter than a cobbler. So okay. a crisp actually has an oatmeal topping. So this is my go-to recipe. Anytime I want something sweet or need to take something to an event or even a holiday, this is great to have on hand because you just use your seasonal fruit. So I had apples and pears, which are both in season, and you just make an oatmeal topping and it is easy and delicious and you can do it with any fruit. So this is great in the summertime with peaches, blueberries, strawberries, and you can even use frozen fruit. So no matter what you have on hand, you can throw together and make a healthy, delicious crisp. I love one pan or one pot recipes too. I'm yes. all about convenience. <laughs> yes, and this can be thrown together so quickly and so easily. And the topping is much more nutritious than a cobbler that has a ton of flour and mm. butter and sugar, and you can sweeten this naturally. So these are actually great natural sweeten, sweetener options to have on hand as the holidays are coming up, which I can't believe I'm even saying that, <laughs> but they're, they're right around the corner. And I actually use coconut sugar as okay. the sweetener for this. So coconut sugar is a great natural sweetener option. So this would be great to have on hand in your cabinet as you are beginning to bake more. And I also love maple syrup. So you could use maple syrup too. That may be something you're, you're more familiar with. But the key is to do an oatmeal topping. So old fashioned oats, so this is gonna be much lighter than your cobbler. And this is also gonna provide some fiber and some protein and just taste delicious. So what is the first layer of the recipe? And then we kind of just can add, you know, really whatever fits our fancy on top of it. <laughs> right, exactly. So the first layer is gonna be your fruit. So I did pears and apples and you really want to keep the skin on your fruit where oh. you can because that's going to add more fiber and more nutrients so you really can't tell once it's cooked down you're not going to notice that the skin or the peel is on your fruit so try to keep that on there because it adds more color which we talk about a lot so mm -hmm. it adds more color when you keep the skin on there so you're just going to do a fruit layer with a little bit of cinnamon and you can add sugar to that layer so i added a little coconut sugar but the beauty about it is that you can adjust the amount of sugar that you use. So if I make this just for myself, I don't add as much sugar, but if I'm taking it somewhere else for someone else to eat, I might add more. And that's all you add, a little cinnamon, a little sugar, and that's it to the fruit layer because the fruit adds the sweetness. And then you will do an oat crumble topping. What gives it the crunch? Do you have other kind of um, nut options, walnuts, yes. kind of almonds that we could add? Yes, exactly. I'm so glad you said that. I like to add walnuts. So you can do any nut. I like to do crushed walnuts. You can do pecans, cashews, almonds, any type of nut. And then the oats with the nuts going to give it that crumble type of crisp topping. But I also do oat flour. Have you ever made oat yes. flour? Mm -hmm. So oat flour is a game changer. So it is just old fashioned oats pulsed in your blender or your food processor. And it turns into a fine flour that you can use in recipes. So it's super versatile, super quick, easy, cheap. And you normally always have it on hand. And it's much more nutritious than just a white flour. So you've got that fiber, that protein, those minerals in there. So it's going to be a much healthier option. And Alice, forgive me, did you say at the beginning of the segment if this is something we bake or put in the refrigerator? You bake it. No, okay. I did not say that. You bake it. So you'll bake it for about 30, 45 minutes okay. in the oven, and then you will keep it in the fridge. And you can also freeze this. So if you want to make two, if you have a lot of apples coming in, or if someone gives you pears, if you go to the farmer's market and you have a lot of fruit on hand, you could make this ahead of time and freeze. Or you can also keep frozen fruit in the freezer at all times and throw together a blueberry crisp any time of year because you probably will have the topping ingredient on hand in your cabinet. Wow, okay, great. I'm so glad this is a healthier option to a cobbler because you're right, yes. the cobbler <laughs> certainly adds the calories. I'm sure it's really good warm too, right out of the oven, but it will yes. last for a snack, you know, the following week in the fridge. Yes, absolutely. I love to have this as a sweet treat or as a snack because again, you've got the 
oats and you've got the fruit, you have the nuts on there. So it is super nutritious. An apple pear crisp. I love it for fall. Mm. Thank you, Alice, so much for your time. Thank you. Of course. And for those of you at home, you can find this recipe and more by visiting aliceapproved.com.